Hafideh, and thank you for joining us, Mr. Bart Abuan from BMA Services. Um, in, in honor of National Small Veterans Small Business Week, we would like to feature your company. Um, we thank you for your service in the armed forces, and we just want to um, kind of get to know what your company is about and a little bit about yourself. So if you can go ahead and tell me, um, introduce yourself, uh, what branch of the military that you came from and tell us a little bit about your small business. Afri, uh, uh, my name is Bart Abuan. Uh, I'm the owner of BMA Services. I live in Bergara. Uh, we are a disabled, owned, small, uh, uh, self-certified hub zone company. Uh, I am uh, a Air Force Reserve retired with the 44th APS uh, Anderson Guam. And during my military, ser military service, I spent uh, four years with the uh, Navy Reserve as a CB under Construction Battalion uh, NMCB 18. Uh, doing, uh, I was a utilities man during that time, during, uh, doing uh, HVAC and plumbing work. Uh, I started this business uh, since December of uh, 2013, you know, providing service, uh, air conditioning, uh, repair, and installation. Awesome, that's great. So you retired from the service and you decided to start your uh, small business. Uh, I started the business prior to retiring. Um, I retired 2016, I started 2013. So um, uh, it's before retirement. Awesome, that's great. So what inspired you to start your business? Well, I've been, I've been uh, since graduation, uh, 1986 uh, from Guam Community College. Um, I've been in a apartment industry uh, working for PwC Navy and Guam Power Authority. Um, during my four years with the CBs, I've, I've acquired uh, my HVAC certification. So somehow I, I, I felt that it was hard uh, working for the apartment because you work 24 hours. Uh, it's a 24 seven operation you're on shift work and you pretty much don't have family time. So um, I started getting a lot of uh, personal minor repair here and there uh, on the HVAC. So I finally decided to take a uh, two month off uh, of GPA and um, try uh, what the Navy had certified me to do. So, um, after a month of doing air conditioning work, I made up my mind that I think this is what I want to do for, for the rest of uh, my working career. So uh, that's pretty much inspired me because, you know, shift work, you, you don't have time. Uh, you're on day swing grave, you work on the weekend, you work on a holiday. So um, it's totally different now that I'm, entrepreneur that is able to make lots lots of time for the family, uh, be on the weekend, and um, the, the income is much more rewarding. That's awesome. So the fact that you, uh, your inspiration then came from wanting to have that freedom to be able to make your own schedule and to be with your family when you, when you wanted to be with them. Yes. yes. Awesome. What are some insights that you've learned when starting your business? Well, the insight during startup is, um, you know, there's a lot of paperwork, uh, getting just just getting the uh, the HVAC category. You got to study the 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 form that you get from uh, uh, from the Long Contractors Licensing Board. You got to study the law. Uh, then you got to pass those. Uh, mm -hmm. to get a business license then you know you've got to pay from fees those are the things that you know you can't just get in get in uh you can't just start a business without getting a business license mm -hmm. 
I think that, and 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 beyond that, you have to get several department of uh, a government of Guam agency to to approve you uh, to get a license. So uh, the red tape and all are, are just uh, a little bit of a, a challenge in the beginning. Oh, okay. Um, so being so all of that red tape speaking about red tape right now we are as we we all know going through um the pandemic of COVID-19 um being in the military has obviously taught you to deal with unforeseen events and circumstances so how would you say um that your business has kind of pivoted and been creative in um accepting and adapting to all the new government guidelines and um, just dealing with this overall pandemic in this time right now. Well, I think the military taught me uh, can-do attitude. Um, we have a mission to complete. We got to do to get it done. Um, and pretty much, I use that uh, use that in my business on a daily basis. Uh, we got a mission, you gotta get it, you gotta make sure it's done safely and mission complete. So um, uh, that's pretty much uh, what the military taught me is just be uh, focused on getting the mission done. And and I pretty much apply most of our, our, our work, our, our planning in the office, just as well in the field. Okay. So it's kind of just been your overall since the beginning, that was your mentality is just get it done and do it safely. Um, I'm pretty sure right now you have to have other safety protocols like wearing the mask and washing the hands and watching the distance, but um, that's mm -hmm. nothing new to you then. You've always practiced that, right? Oh, yes, yes, that's true. Okay, awesome. So as we wrap up, what advice would you give to other um, aspiring veteran entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs in general who are looking to start their small businesses? Well, I think uh, planning, preparation, executing um, are most important because some, some say they are, but never start or never initiate so the first thing is get your feet in the door and um accept all the challenges uh let's say have a lot of patience uh things doesn't always fall uh, uh plan doesn't always get get done the way it's supposed to there's always obstacle so just uh be open, accept a lot of um, delays, and um, I think be ready financially because uh, sometimes the the cash flow doesn't come on time. So at least you have some uh, cash flow to to uh, help you on your payroll and your operation needs. Awesome. Thank you so much. Um, we re really appreciate your participation um, in joining us this week to honor National Veterans Small Business Week. We thank you for your uh, prior service in the armed forces and we wish you continued success. So if anybody is trying to get a hold of you to um, get some HVAC services, how can they contact your company? Well, we, you can call our office at 734-4557. Uh, or call, call me personally at on my cell at 482-9296. So um, I'll be glad to entertain your, your uh, air conditioning issues. Okay, awesome. Thank you very much, Mr. Bart Abuan again from BMA Services. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.